So, Nick Troy, give me the hardest part about playing cornerback. Physical, mental, what, what are the difficulties of the position? Uh, well, I'd say mental. It's, it, as a corner, you got to make sure you have that next play mentality. And uh, it's, it's kind of difficult sometimes when you give up a deep ball or something like that. You know, it's hard to try to let that go. But I'd say mental is definitely the hardest thing about playing DB. You know, physically, when you have that physical body or – that, that technique is really not a problem. Really, you just got to execute it. But like mentally, when you give a bad play, you got to learn to let that go and go on to the next. So for sure, I'd say mental. Cody Nesper. Hey, Nick Troy. Um, we've heard a lot about Jackie Matthews so far this spring. And I just wondered if you could, from your perspective, tell us about uh, how Jackie has looked. Man, Jackie's look great, man. Like, uh, I always tell him, like, when Jackie goes up, like, when we do individual or – one on one, I'm always making sure that I'm watching Jackie so I can learn from some of his game. Uh, he's definitely a dark horse. He's somebody that this year we're gonna need, and he's so, someone that's gonna gonna shock the world because the way he's playing right now, he's been playing on a high level. Um, you know, he's he's been holding his own, and uh, you know, he's been looking really good out there. Jared Siri. Nick Troy, everybody always asks coaches, you know, hey, what are they looking for in the spring game? I want to ask you. Being an elder statesman in the secondary, what are you looking for from the younger guys at your position? Uh, I'm looking for our young guys to just, you know, step up. You know, when, when their name's called, to, to go out there and execute. You know, they, they watched us do it. So for them to go out there and, and, and to, to do the same thing that we're doing, but, you know, maybe even better, you know, to go make a name for themselves. So just looking for them to execute, you know, perfect effort, make sure they're communicating, you know, just doing what the older guys are doing. John Antoni. Nick, you're curious. Um, I, Neil had sent something in one of the scrimmages after uh, or maybe one of the practices about he wanted you to take more risks. Um, has he talked to you about that? And, and does that give you confidence knowing that your coach uh, wants you to become a little bit more um, assertive out there, I guess? Yeah. we Actually, we talked about it before our uh, second scrimmage. We talked about it. And he told me, it was on a Monday, he told me, he was like, he just wants me to go out there and just play aggressive. He wants me to just go out there and just, like, even if I mess up, go out there and play. And I took that into consideration. Like, I took that, put that in my mind. And ever since then, I've just been going out there just playing ball. I've given up some, you know, and then, like, I've made plays. So that definitely helped me out when he when we talked about it and just gave me more of a confidence boost. So, like, now I just, lately, I've just been going out there and just being assertive, you know, a certain dominance, stuff like that, so. What was the thought process before just to, to play conservative, don't get beat? Was that kind of your mindset yeah, there? Yeah, my thing was, you know, just play with technique. You know what I mean? Like, you know, play smart. Like, you know, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of like tentative. I was kind of like, you know, timid just a little bit. But I knew going through spring, I was like more practices, more reps that I got, I was naturally becoming like coming into my own. Can you forget? You got in a corner in the Big 12, man, you got to be able to forget. Can you forget? Yeah, I most definitely can forget because yeah. I know the type of person that I am. I know the type of player that I am. I know that when I'm in my zone, like, I'm, there's nobody that can really, you know. So, like, I just got to remember that and remind myself that me being in my zone, that Nick Troy is a different person. So, I'm good. Gotcha. Thanks. Greg Hunter. All right. No one probably knows West Virginia's wide receivers better than you because you face them all the time. So, give me a little rundown on what you see out of those guys. Uh, man, uh you got Sam Brown, uh, Isaiah Esdale, Sean Ryan, those guys. They, uh, For me, I know every day we go out there and practice, I know when we go out there and do team one-on-ones, it's never a rep that I say, all right, I'm going to relax because they bring it every time. So I know that every time I step on that field, I got to have my A game on because if I don't, they'll go out there and expose me. So those guys give me great work. Uh, Isaiah Esdale, me and him, we're going at it today. Uh, Sam Brown, he's definitely coming into his own. You know, so those are the guys that are going to wake up uh, the, the world this year, you know, those guys are definitely doing what they got to do. Uh, definitely going, uh, they're out there right now, just, you know, balling. They, they've been balling all spring. So it's just definitely been a battle between us and them uh, the whole entire spring. Kevin Kinder. Nature our coaches talk a lot about developing depth and having depth. But looking back at you know, your play log last year and on the other side, you guys played a ton of snaps. Are you okay with doing that, or do you think you would be a little better if you could have, you know, a series off a half or something like that to kind of rest and get back? How do how do corners and how do you look at that? Uh, you know, I mean, 
last year, you know, I never really got out. I mean, but it wasn't – for me, it's just – like, when I'm in my zone, like I told uh, Mr. John, I told him when I'm in my zone, you know, I'm just out there playing. So, like, I don't really pay attention to how many snaps that I get, you know, or – I've never – half the time, like, there's been times where I have been out and I get frustrated because I don't want to come out. So, but I know, like, you know, taking care of your body is important. So, I mean, we'll just see how this season goes, see how our, our new DB coach is going to, you know, handle it. Cody Nesper. Hey, Troy, is it, is it hard to strike that balance between being aggressive and, um, you know, not giving up big plays? Uh, It's actually pretty easy because I, I know, you know, it's all, it all comes with – you know, part of it's situational football. You know, there's times where you can't be aggressive and there's times where, you know, you got to be smart. You know, when it's like third and four, third and five, you know, you got a great drive on anything short. And then when it's like third and 14, something like that, I can play a little conservative. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to balance it. I know when to, to be aggressive and I know when to be smart, when to be timid, timid make sure to protect the deep balls. Mike Casaza. Hey, Nick Troy, I have a question for you about um some offensive personnel stuff um, as a cornerback or just as the secondary I don't know, defense in general um, when a team goes 12 personnel what type of a, a change up or a curveball is that for you uh, you know uh, it's really not that bad uh, going against Iowa State we will sometimes see three tight ends out there so going against our guys in practice when they go out and 12 personnel it's kind of easy to adjust to I just gotta know my keys I just gotta know where to put my eyes and you know just play ball but it's just kind of easy to adjust to it's not that bad can they vary things very much to make you think instead of react? Because I imagine you're putting a hat in a different spot and then all of a sudden your eyes go different places and that's what they want, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. There's been times where they'll try to you know, trick us a little bit and then sometimes, you know, we'll get us because, you know, eyes are in the wrong spot. So, yeah, there's some times, you know, where you really got to key in because if you don't really key in, you'll, you'll be lost. Okay, thanks. Back to John Antonio. Curious, uh, Nick Troy, um, Greg had kind of tapped, uh, touched on this a little bit about the wide receivers. Just your thoughts on Bryce Ford Wheaton. Uh, he's a guy that just physically looks like, you know, he, he's, he's ready to explode. What does he need to do to, to take it to the next level, in your opinion? Bryce, guys, I tell him every single day, the only thing that's holding Bryce back is his, his mind. I feel like with Bryce, because it's just like me. Like, that, I had to learn that, too, the hard way. Like, for me, it was a confidence thing. So, like, now my confidence is, you know, it's up there, you know. And, and me and Bryce, we talk every day. Like, he's like my big brother. Like, we talk every day. And I always tell him, like, if you just got to have confidence in yourself because, like, you see it. Like, he's 6'4", dude's yeah. like 225, dude can run. And that's yeah. all. And I always tell him, I said, bro, for you, it's just your mental, you know. And so what I want to see out of Bryce is just – him having that confidence knowing that when he steps on that field, there's nobody that can run with him, nobody can jump with him, and he can just go out there and just dominate. And I feel like once he gets that down, he'll be he'll, he'll be the best receiver in the Big 12. I, mean, I was going to say, I remember that what the scrimmage, I don't know if it was the last one, when he blew up Alonzo Die on that run and got everybody just going. I mean, yeah. there are some things he does that, you know, it's rare, isn't it? It's just rare. And I told him, like, bro, you'll be the best receiver in the Big 12. It's just your, your mindset's holding you back. But once he gets that right, the sky's the limit. Thanks. Back to Mike Kazaza. Mike, did you have a question? I don't believe so. Thank you, though. Okay, I'll lower your hand here. I thought it, I lowered it and came back up. Okay, we will uh, go to Greg Hunter. Nick Troy, how long did it take you to adjust to West Virginia and Morgantown? I'm a Georgia kid. You know, probably didn't see a whole lot of snow growing up. Uh, what, what was that adjustment like? And now, what four years into it, is it is it just old hat when you see snow flurries? Yeah, now when I see snow, it's just like, oh, all right, well, another day. Uh, let me make sure I, I dress up nice, you know, dress up for the weather. Uh, it, it didn't take me too long. Um, I'd say going into my freshman year, going into the freshman season, that's when I really had to, like, adjust towards the end of the season, like November, December. I, I called the guys, like, yeah, I, I got to get used to this. But now I'm used to it. Now I know when to, to dress, you know, warm and when to dress up, you know, when, it, when it's hot outside. Cody Nesper. Nick Troy, what, what's your um, impressions of Shadon Brown been so far? Oh, that's my guy. 
Uh, you know, at first, you know, it was kind of, you know, I was kind of a, a bit unsure. You know, I didn't really know him. He didn't really know me. But with time, I realized how cool of a guy he was. Funny. He's never really serious unless, you know, he's coaching us up on something we messed up. You know, we're always joking. It's always positive in the room, never negative. Yeah, that's my guy. And I look forward to having a season with him. And, and you know, it's, it's going to be a good time knowing the type of guy that he is. He has a lot of humor. Uh, real good dude. Um, family man, too. So, yeah, a good relationship with him.